Let's talk about Emperor's Children and what you can do to turn your Black Legion minis into followers of Slanesh. First of all, conversions and kit bashes, bits and pieces you can buy to make your Marines look more like Emperor's Children. To start off, we have two upgrade sprues with Noise Marine guns. There's this standard one and then there's this sort of heavier gun that they have. Both of them pretty cool, come with good shoulder pads, they're really nice and fit well on regular Legionnaires as well as the older models. It's a really cool kit. You can make your own Noise Marines with these. Speaking of Noise Marines, you got this guy. <laughs> An actual guitar playing Noise Marine. Cool to add to your army. Maybe add him as a sergeant, a champion, uh, but may or a character. But uh, getting a whole squad of these is going to be very pricey. They only, only sell them like individual. Now, I like to stay with the noise theme for a bit. You know, Slanesh is more than just noise and boobs and tentacles. There's, there's more, but let's stay with the noise for a second. And you got this Clamavis. He's the model from the Gene Stealer Cults, carries big loudspeakers, and maybe you can do something with this. Like somewhere like a Master of Possessions or a Dark Apostle with massive loudspeakers all around him. And sticking with this is this Propagandist and Agitator from Necromunda. Of course, all the coolest models come from Necromunda. And he also has big loudspeakers, but also some massive screens that he carries along. And I really like this model, the staff. I think you can easily incorporate this with a Space Marine or maybe a leader of your cultists, you know, that dark commune, turn them into more like a Slaneshi commune. I think this model can help out a lot. Now, if you don't want the standard Legionnaire bodies, you know, your regular Chaos Space Marine bodies, you want something a bit different, Age of Sigmar brings loads and loads of cool minis. For example, these Simbarish Twin Souls. There's also this other name, I can't remember them right now. It's one box, two different kinds of minis you can build. And these bodies are pretty cool. They are really slaneshy, they're heavily armored, so they won't look strange on a 40k battlefield. You just need to add backpacks and maybe a helmet or something to make them look more slaneshy. And the good thing about this kit is that it comes with five heads and five helmets. And both of them, heads and helmets, will look amazing on your marines. Here, these guys, I use them for my Gene Stealer Cults. My Gene Stealer Cults is a cult of slanesh. And doesn't this look like Slanesh? Let me set some nice photos up here of all these guys. They're carrying the seismic cannons, the mining lasers, but also the melee weapons for my acolytes and my neophytes. And I think this is a really cool way to add a lot more Slanesh flavor to your marines. Now these guys come in boxes of five. They come with 10 heads helmets, or so five heads, five helmets, a bunch of different weapons, shields as well, whips, very important for Slanesh. So I think this is a really cool kit to at least buy one or two, maybe for just the bits, maybe for the body parts as well. Add some variety into your Legionnaires. The guys with the heavy weapons can be looking like this, while the regular Legionnaires look like regular Black Legion Legionnaires. Now sticking with uh, Gene Stealer Cults, you know, we have the weapons, that's the Acolyte Hybrids and the Neophyte Hybrids. But the Acolyte Hybrids come with lots of claws and whips as well, and bone swords. Although that might not be so fitting for Slanesh. But the claws and whips, they're really cool. I use those to make this conversion of Tigurius. And if you look at this, you can imagine this with Black Legion shoulder pads, Black Legion Space Marine armor instead of Ultramarine armor, and a Slaneshi helmet. It would look like a pretty cool Slanesh character. And I think the Neophytes, it might be a bit ridiculous to buy a box of Neophytes just for the heavy weapons, but those seismic cannons they look really cool. And seismic cannons, sound cannons, it all works by vibration, right? So it kind of fits. I like the look. It works for my jeans to look out. But like I said, it might be a bit silly to buy a whole box of neophytes just for these heavy weapons. I would go for a bits website and look there if you can just buy the heavy weapons separately. Now, after this, we also have these amazing Daughters of Cain Blood Sisters. These are fantastic if you want more mutation in your Legionnaires. Maybe they're good for your possessed. I use these to kit bash my aberrants, my abominants, the nasty big hulking beasts for gene stealer cults. I have the body of the snake and then these massive claws that come from, of course, the Slaneshi demons. And you also have the other variety, because I want to have a lot of these guys with just a hand weapon and a shield. And the helmet comes from those Sibirish twin souls. These snake bodies are fantastic. You can easily fit a Legionnaire's body on top of that and make it look more like a Space Marine and not like Gene Stealer Cults or like Demonoids. 
And I think it's probably the best way to kid bash your possessed. If you want something more demonic or characters, if you want something more demonic and convert it and mutate it, these snake bodies are fantastic. Now, I think you need some claws as well. And of course, the Seeker Chariot is by far the best one if you want these massive claws. The, the regular demonettes, they come with smaller claws. There, are, there is one set or two sets of big claws in there for the, the champion of the unit, but the Seeker Chariot comes with massive, massive claws. And it comes with massive whips as well. I have here my Acolyte Icon Ward pushing the cult forward. This whip comes from that Seeker Chariot. It's huge, it stands out, it's cool, it's very Slanesh, it has some Slanesh icons on there. And I think that's a really good addition to any Space Marine army, but especially the Emperor's children. Now, I think you can go a bit broader and you can incorporate some bits of skin into your Space Marines. And the Chaos Marauders, this old, old box is the best source of skin bits. I've shown this in my video about the Night Lords as well. This box is fantastic. It has skulls on change. It has flayed skin bits. It has shields with flayed skin bits. It has cool and weird looking shoulder pads. It has hooks on change. Hooks on chains, not change. And it's an amazing kit. Uh, it's just out of production right now. I think they might be bringing it back for the old world because it's a pretty cool kit. And you might still be able to get it here and there. But if you can get your hands on a box like this, it's an amazing source of all kinds of bits. Now, I liked that noise marine that I showed, this guy with the big guitar, but his mohawk especially, I think, is really cool. And if you want something like that, then you have to go to the Fire Slayers from Age of Sigmar. I got my Fallen Templars over here, and he has this mohawk, which is clipped off the helmet of one of those, what is it called? Volkite Berserkers. And just glued onto a Space Marine helmet. Oh, there goes his shield. And then you can make really cool mohawks and make your champions or your regular noise marines or your slanishi marines stand out a whole lot more. I love these. It's easy to do. It's very easy to get in there. Maybe a little bit of green stuff, maybe a little bit of filling, but you can get that mohawk fitting perfectly. Now, there's a few bits and pieces that Games Workshop provides for, for Emperor's Children, mainly for 30k, that I want to go through as well. Because maybe you can look at this and get some more inspiration. First of all, you have the Phoenix Spears. They're nice, they're pretty cool. I'm not sure how well they fit because they look like the tactical marine, the old, old Chaos Marine models. And then you have shoulder pads for Mark IV, helmets for Mark IV, shoulder pads for Mark VI, and helmets for Mark VI. Not great options, but I just want to have them mentioned so that you, you know everything that's available right now. Now, after the Marines, let's take a look at cultists. Because, of course, you're going to need cultists. And the regular cultists, they're not bad, but they're so flavorless. There's nothing there. It's, it's chaos undivided. It's, it's something for everybody, which means it's something for nobody. Now, first of all, I would seriously consider the Dark Elder Rex. I think these models are very slaneshy in how they look and feel, suffering horrible monstrosities that would be perfect for cultists. Only issue is coming in sets of five so you need to buy four boxes if you want to have two squads of 10 cultists that can get a bit pricey but still very cool models uh, of course necromunda great source for all kinds of conversions and proxies and kit bashes the asher gang the ladies they have mohawks they have less clothes than most models they have whips they have chains they have heavy weapons as well i think this is a cool kit that you can work on making them more slaneshy and they come with this uh, this weird upgrade unit as well with these dead yeah they're actually dead asher gangers in the center i think they look very cool and they they could fit a slanesh army incredible and then you have these little beasties as markers for your things i think an asher based group of cultists is a pretty cool idea and you can pull this line through your army in other things like your nurglings if you want to run nurglings in your uh, emperor's children now, apart from that, we also have the Corpse Grinder Cult. And I think that's a pretty cool option too. They, they might not really look like Slanesh, but they're definitely something I can see Slanesh uh, encouraging. Cannibalism. You know, cannibalism, go, taking things too far, exquisite dishes. What is more exquisite than a nice leg of human? Now, these Corpse Grinder Cults, they come with all kinds of melee weapons. I think if you're proxying, if you're kit bashing, if you're doing all of that, nobody will really mind if you bring a guy without a pistol and a sword. 
just these cool weapons, I think it will be fine. And with the right paint scheme, I think you can make these look like Slaneshi cultists. Now, of course, you have these unmade from Warcry. These are stunning, and I think these are really good Slaneshi cultists too. And we have these, uh, the Red Harvest group. I think they're cool as well. I think they look really neat. They, they kind of look some, something like the Unmade, but a lighter version of it. But I think you can make this into Slanesh as well. Then you have the Jade Obelisk. I don't know why this is seen as the Slanesh Warcry group, the Warcry Warband. They come together in the Age of Sigmar Hedonites of Slanesh army. I don't see it. I don't see enough Slanesh influence here. The Jade Mask, I, I just don't get it. But I want to have it mentioned here. They're, they're supposed to be part of the Hedonites of Slanesh in Age of Sigmar. I can't help it. Uh, but you have these Canine Shadow Stalkers next. And I love these. I think this can really be made into something Slanesh. You need some brighter pinks instead of the dark purple, some more gold, some more shiny bits. But I think you can do something with this. And of course, we have the Daughters of Cain, the Witch Elves. The ones with a whip and a dagger, whip and a shield, and the ones with two daggers. Now this is one kit with which you can build both, and you can use a whip and a dagger instead of a whip and a shield or two daggers. So you can mix and match quite a lot, and it'll still look pretty cool. And with this kit, you get ten of them right away, and it's, I think it's a decent alternative for getting a box of regular cultists. Now of course, marines and cultists and so on. They usually don't come with all kinds of tentacles. So I recommend getting one of these sets from Green Stuff Worlds. And these are Green Stuff Rollers. And you just rub them together and you can make nice tentacles out of this. Tentacles, hoses, really anything that is a long snake, worm-like shape of Green Stuff. I'll put a link to these in the description below. And of course, Hobby Chain. Slanesh, chains, it goes perfectly together. Get some three millimeter hobby chain. It's the right uh, measurement, right, right scale for marines, for cultists. If you want to get bigger chains for vehicles and so on, you could go for five millimeter. But three millimeter is the right one for your space marines. Now, after cultists and these little upgrades, let's look at just a little interruption. Don't forget to like the video if you're enjoying it so far. Helps me out tremendously. And make sure this video gets shown to more people who could enjoy it too. And share it with a friend if you know somebody who wants to build an Empress Children Army. So next up, characters. And we're starting off, of course, with Fabius Bile. If you search for Slanesh or Empress Children on the Warhammer.com website, Fabius Bile doesn't show up. So I figured I have to mention him here, just in case somebody forgets he exists. He, of course, comes from the Empress Children and he still walks around in 40k. So you should maybe see if you can incorporate him into your army. And if you don't really want the whole apothecary setup that he has, you can of course switch out his backpack because that is all attached to his backpack, not to his shoulder. So you get a different backpack, suddenly you have a guy just walking around in a human skin cloak and you can give him any weapon and any kit uh, out outfit that you like. Now, let's look at some casters. We have this Traitor Esoterist console from 30k. I think he looks really cool. A nice chaotic caster without too many mutations. I think he would be a nice uh, Slanesh caster. And you have this shard speaker. Again, Hedonites of Slanesh from Age of Sigmar. You basically have a whole army of Slaneshi followers to pick and choose and get your bits from if you want the Emperor's Children uh, Legion. Then you have this Kretusa the Crones here. I really love the model. I'm not 100% sure how, what I would do with it or how I would incorporate it into my Slanesh army. But I think it looks so cool, I should mention it. It's such an amazing model. It's such a weird, dark, sinister design. I think it really fits Slanesh in some way. Maybe a little bit more Zinch, but I think you can do something with Slanesh with this as well. Imagine a snake-like body and then that head and those wings on top. I think it's a very cool kit bash to make. Now, a couple of melee characters. You have the Lord of Pain. Again, Age of Sigmar, Hedonites of Slanesh. He would be a nice master of executions. Kid bashed, maybe give him a nice cloak, maybe give him a backpack. But that massive mace, it looks pretty cool. And of course, you have Prince Sigvald. Would make a nice master of executions as well. The way he walks around, maybe get rid of that shield, maybe turn it into a whip. You could maybe turn him into Lucius the Eternal as well. I think there's, there's a lot of potential here. And, uh, oh, this one, Lady Hera comes from Necromunda, of course. I thought this model looks so beautiful. It looks so cool, so ornate. And with skinny blades, 
I think this could be Slanesh as well. This could be some master of executions or possessions or into your dark uh, commune for your cultists. I don't know what to do with it, but it's so cool. I would love to have this in my army. Now, of course, you got Fulgrim from 30k before his ascension to Demonhood. You get him with this massive scenic base. You can get rid of that and you could put Fulgrim on a 40, 50, 60 millimeter base. Uh, you can proxy Abaddon with this one. You know, why not? Fulgrim is the leader of the Empress Children. Why not have him run around as if he's Abaddon? I really like this one though. This is Glottus. It's a massive kit. It comes with this big fat guy. And I have him here. I basically turned a few of the bits upside down. The canopy that's supposed to be over him is now at the bottom. And he is sitting still on the same chair. Lots of skulls and bits and claws and pieces around. And this is my patriarch for my gene stealer cults. You can put him on a 60 mil base. That fits perfectly. He could be a nice Abaddon proxy sitting on his throne like this. You could put some demonettes around him or some of the daughters of Cain. You know, skinny naked ladies. I think would be a nice kit bash for any Chaos Lord character. Could also maybe become a Lord of Discord riding around on his massive cart. And this kit comes with three more characters and a couple of weird spawns. It has a lot of stuff, a lot of bits and pieces that you can use from this kit for all kinds of really cool kit bashes. I love him. I think this one, the gluttony part, is, is often overlooked in Slanesh. You know, Slanesh is the god of excess. It's not just tentacles and boobies. Gluttony is definitely part of it. I love this model and I have a few more suggestions about gluttony as well. But let's keep going. Characters first. I wanted to show you Fulgrim Transcended. <sighs> he is too big for almost anything that comes in a Black Legion army. He comes on a 100mm base and there's almost nothing that comes on a 100mm base in a regular Black Legion army. You look, have to look into demons, greater demons, that sort of stuff, and, and then you can replace Fulgrim with that. He's also, the way he's built up, he's so big, you can't really fit him on a smaller base and, and make it work. You, you, if you want to play with him, move him between buildings, you're going to have a problem with him. So even though he's really cool, you probably can't fit him into your regular 40k army. Now, this one, Eternus, I love him. I love this model. And I think you could make a Lord Discordant out of him, of course. Now, Lord, Dis Lord Discordant should be on a mount of some kind. And then what does it matter what kind of mount it is? I think this horse is fantastic. The glaive is fantastic. It has some slanesh in it. You could paint him purple and gold and pink and all of that and make him look as slanesh as it can be. Finally, I wanted to mention a couple of 30k characters. Not because they're the best fits for 40k, but just for completion. I want to have these guys mentioned because maybe you don't know about their existence. First of all, Saul Tarvitz. Yeah, you can put him in your 40k Empress Children uh, Legion. Um, he looks pretty cool, nice ornate armor, nice sword, overall a pretty decent character. And Lord Commander Eidolon, of course. Massive scenic base again, doesn't matter, you can keep it or remove it, put him on a flat base instead. But I think it's a pretty cool model too. And uh, this is Lucius, the, the, the 30k model Lucius, the 40k model is gone. I hope we're getting a nice one back. But I think this is a pretty cool model. Regardless, Master of Executions maybe, you know, swinging around with two swords. I think it's pretty cool. And then we have these nameless characters, the Legion Praetor. Um, cool, nice model, maybe as a champion in one of your units. And then the Legion Tartarus Praetor, which is a Terminator character, Terminator leader. I think he's pretty cool. I think you can fit him into your Terminator squad as well. It's not great. It's not It's not mutated. It doesn't show the 40k Slanesh. It really shows Emperor's children before their fall. So let's move on to the next step, which is Demon Princes. And I hate to say it, but all the cool looking options aren't really options. Of course, we have Fulgrim Ascended, but on a big 100 millimeter base. And the current Demon Prince model comes on a 60 millimeter base. And that difference is just too big. You can't bring Fulgrim as a Demon Prince if you want him to have the same profile. Another warning is against using Morathi from the Daughters of Cain. A beautiful, stunning model again. Nice snake-like body, massive big wings. I mean, she could be the sister of Fulgrim right here. But again, 100 millimeter base, way too big for a demon prince. Very cool model though. And then we have these two, which uh, they, they come from the same kit, the uh, Sinessa and Excessa. 
uh, I'm not sure what the names are, but these two, same kit, same idea. But these, I think you can fit on a 60 millimeter base. If you look at the pictures here, the, the bottom is fairly narrow and it really tapers out with those you know, peacock wings that they have. Uh, but I think he can fit on a 60 millimeter base. It shouldn't be a problem. And then you can move him around. Like the, the, the regular Demon Prince has big wings that are sticking out over the base anyway. I think you can get away with this. And these look uh, unique enough, different enough from Shalaxi and the Keeper of Secrets to make him stand out on them own. Even if Shalaxio keeps secrets on the table, you probably won't confuse him with these two. And your opponent probably wouldn't confuse him with these two either. Now, I like another option, and it is the, the Hydra or the Charybdis from the Dark Elder from Age of Sigmar. Long, long ago. Old model. Really pretty cool. I think this could be a nice Slaneshi demon. Maybe it needs some wings, but I think like this, it already looks pretty cool. If you paint this up nicely, pinks, blacks, purples, you can have a Slanesh Demon Prince that looks like a Hydra. Maybe more something for the Alpha Legion, but still, a pretty cool Demon Prince, I think. And I wanted to show you this Blood Rack Shrine. The shrine itself, <laughs> it's not really a good Demon Prince, but there's this model standing on top, and here he is. I use that model as my abominant in my Gene Stealer Cults army, and it is a pretty decent Demon Prince model, I think. Doesn't have wings, but lots of snake, a claw, a spear, it has weapons, doesn't really look like 40k, it's missing armor, you can do a lot with the, the chains and with the green stuff roller to make sort of hosing and piping, maybe put some worn out backpack on the back and you can make a demon prince out of it. But to be honest, the regular demon prince isn't that bad for Slanesh, it's a pretty cool demon prince. I, I think if you paint it right, take nice purple and pink and white colors, you can make a decent Slanesh demon prince out of this. So it's it's not really necessary to replace this one. But let's look at Nurglings next. Because even though you play Empress Children, you might still want to have some Nurglings in your army. Just to infiltrate, screen out opponent infiltrators and stop them do from doing their scout moves. But who wants Nurglings in their Slanesh army, right? <laughs> it's probably the worst combination that you can imagine. So let's look, look at some proxies, because you're not going to get kid bash Nurglings, but some nice proxies. And again, we're looking at Necromunda for the coolest models in all of Kitten's Workshop's line. We have this Outland Beastmaster with Ripper Jacks. I think this one looks really, really cool. And it's a, a set of three models. You can fit them on the bases that Nurglings come with. They kind of look like animals anyway. They still have a 40k vibe. They kind of look like the function that, that Nurglings fulfill. Fast, scouting, infiltrating, sneaky models that can deep strike, come out of, out of nowhere. I think it's a really cool fit and I really like these models and I think you can make this look very slanashy. Now an alternative to this, same idea, what alternative is this Beastmaster with Millisaurs. If you want to go more for the snake vibe, well this isn't really snakes, it's more like worms, but still I think a pretty cool option. And the same idea, one guy, two little monsters with it. But we also have this uh, Mercator Sanguis the Slavers. If you're going for more of a gluttony theme, then these Mercator Sanguis Slavers might be a good option. Big bellies, big guys, they could function as sort of the corpse collectors. Uh, although we have an actual corpse harvesting party as well for the Corpse Grinders Cult. Again, I think a pretty cool sort of feature in your Slanesh army. Uh, civilians, hangers-on that, that move along with the army and collect valuables corpses, somebody needs to eat, right? So I think you could make some cool Nurgling proxies out of these models here. Now, if you're going for more of the Escher gang with your cultists, for example, then these uh, Mindlock Weird Encephalot guys, these are pretty cool too. They're more mechanical, but they are with an Escher keeper that goes along with them. And I think they could function as Nurglings as well. Now, finally, I wanted to show you these Chaotic Beasts uh, from Warcry. It's these Harpies and these weird... What are they called? Oh, I'm blanking. Uh, I don't know. These are the weird things. These weird things, <laughs> the ones that I actually like most. I think you can paint them nice bright purple pinks and so on. Make them look like Nurglings. Beasts that are moving fast, dropping down, coming in, doing some actions. Well, maybe just engage no fronts by now. But fast mobile creatures that are just annoying to deal with for your opponent. I think the harpies fit this well and these 
weird f flightless crocodiles on the ground. These raptors. I think they call called something like raptors. I can't remember. Anyway, let's look at some more gluttony next. I already mentioned Glottus from Age of Sigmar, the massive big hulking beast that can sit in his throne while being carried around on the battlefield. But of course, we have the Corpse Grinders cult. I think that one fits in that theme as well. And then we have Ogres. So, or Ogors, they're called now. The Maw Tribes. You have this butcher. And come on, tell me that this doesn't fit in a Slaneshi army. I think it's, it's an amazing character. Maybe Master of Executions, maybe Master of Possessions, maybe a Dark Apostle. I think this could be a pretty cool character in your Slanesh army, even though he's wielding a hammer and not a sword. Although I think you can clip off the hammer and make a nice spear out of it, something like that. And we have these man-eaters, and really, this this guy with black, the hood, that, that hook on a chain, how is that not Slanesh? This, I think, could be a really cool addition to a Slanesh army as well. Get some of these big, fat, hulking ogres, maybe to replace your Terminators. It might be going a bit too far, to, but, you know, there's something there, right? There's something there with these big, fat guys, instead of tentacles and boobies. They still have man boobs, less tentacles, but I think you can do something with these. I'm not 100% sure yet what, but there's something there. And so also this, this slaughter master. Again, I think there's something there. If you go for the corpse grinder cult, the, the weird uh, corpse collectors for your nurglings, and then these butchers and gluttons and so on in your army, I think there's something there. And it will be a very, very cool and very unique Slanesh army that focuses on gluttony rather than the androgynous, the, the sex part of Slanesh. I'd love to see one army like this someday that is fatter than the Nurgles, Nurgles army, fatter than the great unclean ones and nastier than the death card can be. I'd be really, really interested to see something like that. But hey, there's not that many options if you want fat stuff. Death Guard might help out a little bit, but most of them just look too much like followers of Nurgle. And we can't have that in Slanesh Army. Now let's look at Chaos Spawns, because the regular spawns, let's be honest, it's an old model. It's an old kit. It's not that great. It's two models. It's pretty pricey. If you want spawns, you probably can get something much, much better. And you definitely can. We're going to Age of Sigmar once again. There you have the Slangor. These are fantastic chaos spawns. I don't think you need to look anywhere else but these models. You get three of them in a box, you buy two boxes, you got two, three sets, three sets of two spawns hopping around with your army. You never need more than that. I think these models are fantastic. They're not really 40k, they're kind of missing armor. Again, chains can help a lot. Maybe some armor bits from your legionnaires, maybe some armor bits from your terminators, a shoulder pad here or there. Something like that. Maybe some stuff from these uh, these uh, twin Myrmidesh pain bringers. Those bits and pieces, shoulder pads from there could help out, make them a little bit more armored and make them fit a little bit more into the 40k. But I think these are the best spawns you can get. Of course, you also have these fiends. They're more demons. And you might be running these with your Empress children at some point if you're running Slanesh demons next to them. So it might be a bit confusing for your opponent and for yourself as well. Not a great option, but still something you can consider. And I think we can look at the Dark Eldar again, the Drukari, and these, the Kronos and the Talos. These two grotesque beasts can fit really well in a Slanesh army too. Of course, the, the aesthetic is similar, hooks and chains and barbs and weird very painful looking operations and biosmithing and whatever these guys are doing i think this could be some really cool chaos spawns as well next up let's look at some wings because you might want to have a jump captain but not have him use a jump pack but actual wings and the scourges from the drukari are by far the best kit for this they have these massive leathery bat wings that you can use or you can go for a sort of subtler approach with these feather wings that they also come with you have five sets to choose from, plenty if you want to have a couple of characters. Not that great if you want to have jump pack infantry with all of these wings, but still a really cool kit, definitely a good addition. I believe they come with some chain whips as well, weird guns and weird weapons too, swords, skinny little swords, 
I think it's a good kit to get into your repertoire anyway if you're building a Slanesh army. Just one box for a bunch of bits. And then we have these Kinerai hard renders. These come from the Daughters of Cain once more. And these wings are really cool too. They're a bit small for a Space Marine. But I think that might actually work better because it will make the Marine fit on his regular 32mm base instead of having to go to a 40mm base or having wings hang out. I don't know if you've ever played with or against these Admech sterilizers with massive wings. These players, the Admech players, my friends, they hate them because you pick up one model and 10 of them come along with them because they're all hooking together. You can't put them next to each other. You, most of the time you can't even place them in coherency because the wings just don't fit. These heart seekers, these wings are pretty small. Let's see, I have a model up here so you can see a little comparison of different wings. And I think they still fit Marines. They will look a bit uh, malformed, a bit grotesque, which I think is pretty cool too. Maybe something for your Chaos Possessed, you know, malformed wings that don't really give them the, the power of flight. Or maybe for a jump pack captain or jump pack infantry. I think these wings are pretty cool too. And you can paint them leathery, snake-like, dragon-like, you know, follow your great leader Fulgrim into his ascension to demonhood. After wings, let's take a look at bikes. Might be a bit strange to mention, but Empress Children, I always see them as a fast moving legion. They kind of want to stay at range, but they can still move fast and get in combat too. So bikes might be a good idea. And I like these Escher cutters, the Necromunda. If you're going for Escher cultists, Escher characters, Escher nurgling proxies, then maybe these Escher bikes can join in as well. They're really cool. Of course they're flying, nobody cares, it's fine. You don't have to have the perfect model for your proxies. Just don't put them on the flight stats. Put them a little bit lower, maybe have some rubble or something that they are floating above, something like that, and they'll fit neatly. I think these bikes look cool. I think you can make them nice and slanesh. You need to add some banners, some chains whipping in the back with skulls and bodies and skin flapping off it. And you have a really cool set of Chaos bikers. But you also have these uh, Goliath bikers. Again, Necromunda, bigger, really big, really massive bikes, but really cool. I think you can make these Slaneshi as well. And I just wanted to show you the Skyhunter squad from 30k. Really nice jet bikes as well. Longer, uh, you can do something with this as well. I think you can make these into nice uh, Empress Children bikes too. And I just wanted to have these mentioned because this is a kit bash that I have done. The Atalan Jackals. You get these guys and you get the riders from Sanesh and you can make some really cool proxies for bikers. I have these for my, you know, my Gene Stealer Colts, my, my Cult of Slanesh, and I think they look pretty, pretty cool. They fit re reasonably well. The hands are weird because the hands are usually there for bow and arrow or for holding a spear. You have to work with that, you have to do something with that, but you can make some really cool bikers out of this kit. And can make them slanesh. Now let's look at some leftover bits and pieces. Starting again with this block black shrine. I'm still not 100% sure how to use it, but I think you can do something with this. Make it a Lord Discordant, make it a vehicle, make it some kind of buffing entity, whatever you can do with it. There's something here and there's lots and lots of little bits and pieces that come off this. I use bits of this kit as markers for my blips, for my gene stealer cults. Just as an example, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Now, of course, this Infernal and Rapturous, it's an incredible model. Maybe the best Slanesh model in all of 40k, 30k, Age of Sigmar, everything together. And possibly one of the best models uh, they have ever made in Games Workshop. Absolute grim dark horror. And I think you can do something with this as well. Master of Possessed, Dark Apostle, something like that. You can you can work with this. I have this guy, just the harp, as my Clamavis for my Gene Stealer cults. I added the speakers and so on from the actual Clamavis model on top. Pulled some wires, make it look more uh, more more electronic. And it's a really cool Clamavis model. And I think you can do something like this with your Space Marines as well. Now we have a couple of endless spells. Uh, you have the Daughters of Cain Endless Spells, and I wanted to show you this because of that beautiful snake model right there. I'm thinking Demon Prince maybe, you know, slap a couple of big wings on there. You could make something demonic out of this. I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool kit. Um, then you have the uh, Endless Spells of the Hidden Knights of Slanesh. I wanted to have these mentioned because that face is pretty cool. Those whips that come out of it are pretty cool. The rest... I don't really see how you can use this, maybe as objective markers or you know sticky objective markers or something to decorate your vehicles with. 
pretty big, they're pretty bulky. So I don't think they're very good as standalone models, but there's something there, right? Or maybe just to liven up the table when you're playing with your friends. Yeah, put a little nice decorations on there, make it look slaneshi. And this, I also wanted to show Lady Credo. Uh, she's incredible. This model is incredible. And I think with the right paint scheme, you can make this Lanesh. There, there's a couple of these models from Necromunda that just scream, I don't know, opulence, wealth, excess, you know, perfect for Slanesh. And then uh, the transfer sheet from the Empress Children. This is from 30K. It's not from 40K. But I think there's lots and lots of stuff on this transfer sheet that you can use to liven up, brighten up your vehicles and your regular marines. Little markings, little decorations. Uh, it doesn't have to be as pristine as it is with the transfer sheet, right? You weather them with a little knife or some sponging of paint on there and you can make your vehicles look so much cooler than they are now. I think if you're getting four Empress Children, get one of these transfer sheets just for your vehicles. It would be amazing. Now, there's a couple of more 30k models that I just want to go through. The uh, Legion Palatine, uh, these guys, they're okay. You have Terminators 2, not bad, not my style. They're not not not, convert, not, not converted enough. They're not, not fallen to Slanesh enough for me. And these, uh, these Cacophon, uh, I think they're just noise marines, the 30k noise marines. Cool, very expensive. I think you're better off buying the upgrade kit and regular Legionnaires box than buying these. These three sets, I want to mention them for completion's sake, just as these last two. The Contempt Dreadnought upgrade for uh, Empress Children and the Daimos Rhino Doors. Not the regular Rhino Doors that you use for 40k, but the pattern for 30k. And so with that, we come to the end. If I missed something, let me know in the comments below. Tell me what I missed. Tell me about your amazing Slanesh conversions, your Empress Children's conversions. Like the video if you enjoyed it so far, and maybe check out this video next.